In today's lecture, we're gonna discuss how you're spending 50,000 a year on a college education when you could be spending that in your own business. But don't do that because you'll put me out of a job. I need to make money as a professor. If you want to be an engineer, then school is great for you to get an engineering degree. If you want to be an accountant, school is great to use an accounting degree. Doctor, lawyer, same thing. But for those who want to open their eyes and see what's possible in this world, school doesn't teach you everything you need to know in order to make money. The one subject that school doesn't teach is money, when ironically it charges the most, upwards of fifty dollars to $100,000 a year for a college education. When if you use that same amount of money and invested it in yourself and started your own business, you can make 10 times more than you would with your degree. Now there's nothing wrong with college or university. Not everyone needs to go, but not everyone needs to be an entrepreneur. Some people like being in a team and following commands. You don't have to always be doing your own thing and run your own business. College is actually a great environment for you to discover yourself as well. I'm not against going to university or college because I went, I got my degree, and in that time I learned a lot about myself. I worked a normal job, I did entrepreneurship ventures, I've done both. And I'll tell you, I was way happier personally doing entrepreneurship things like buying and selling cars, whatever I wanted to do. Investing in the stock market is also great. But when I was working a job, I was honestly miserable. Not to say that I have anything against jobs. And in fact, if you go to school and you get your degree in accounting, engineering, you become a doctor or a lawyer, you can have a great career. You can make a great amount of money and you can be happy if you actually like that. Like I'm jealous of people that are doctors because I know they're saving lives. They must feel so fulfilled to save someone's life and get paid a lot of money to do that but the point of this video is to show you what school doesn't teach you to open your mind to things that classes and your college professor doesn't show you which is personal finance and money management that we all should be learning whether it's through watching these YouTube videos reading books on your own or going out there and trying out your own business and failing and getting back up and just going for it school teaches you how to think like everybody else how to memorize and regurgitate information for an exam. For example, if you take a biology class, you memorize chapter 5 about the mitochondria, took your exam, and you brain dumped it out of your mind. The problem with school is that you learn how to memorize and be a corporate slave. You learn how to live an average life, work an average job, and retire when you're 65 years old. You don't learn how to manage your money, or how to keep your money, or how to grow it. That's the problem with the education system. You're never taught entrepreneurship, investing, or personal finance. What you're taught is how to get a job, collect a paycheck, and live your life under the radar. Memorize everything in the book, get the answers right, because if you fail the exam, you get an F. You don't wanna do that, be a good person. Follow the rules. Memorize this, answer this exact question. So I was 19 years old in college, and with the mentality I got from school, all, all I knew was to work a job to earn money. And I got my first job at Walmart, making $8.90 an hour. I was a service technician, and that was 90 cents above minimum wage. I was so excited. And then guess what happened? every single year there. You get a 40 cents raise if you're a good worker and a 50 cent raise if you are phenomenal. Guess what happened after my first year? I quit and that's when I started arbitrage and making money on my own. Without even knowing what arbitrage was, I started buying things for cheap and selling them for more. I learned how to sell, how to network, how to grow a business without knowing any of this from school. This all came from the need of making more money on the side because I knew my time at a job would never be enough. You only have 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. If you work every living, breathing second, you are still limited at a cap. Warren Buffett says you will never be rich unless you find a way to make money while you sleep. So I started buying cars at a cheaper price than what they were actually worth. I would get the cars and I would sell them. And I learned along the way how to post an advertisement, how to market my ad, how to talk to people when I would meet them up, buy the car, how to negotiate, how to sell it on the selling end. And I learned a lot of skills in that time frame of my life than I ever did with my degree. And I graduated with a bachelor's in accounting and an engineering degree. And to tell you the truth, those degrees only taught me how to memorize pages in a book, regurgitate them for my exam, and get a, a decently paying corporate slave job. But did it teach me anything about entrepreneurship or how to be successful in my own life? No. What taught me more about success in entrepreneurship 
is think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill. You can go to a library, spend $1.50, and you'll learn more than $150,000 education in college. In fact, there's a quote from a movie called Goodwill Hunting. If you haven't seen that movie, he goes into a bar and he quotes that exact thing about you can get a better education in $1.50 and late charges at the library than your $150,000 grand Harvard education. Don't do that. And two, you dropped 150 grand on a fucking education you could have got for a dollar fifty in late charges at the public library. <laughs> And that resonates with me very deeply, and I'm sure it resonates with you watching. If you're watching this video, you're looking for a way to make money that school doesn't teach you. Because school has only taught you how to get a job. When have you heard your college professor say, Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a million dollars by investing five dollars a day in your account using compound interest. You don't hear that, all you hear is... <laughs> Uh, I want to finish this video off with a quote. It's something that goes along the lines of, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. If you know, watching this, that you want to run your own business, you want to be an entrepreneur, you need to go for it. You need to stop messing around, make a plan, and execute. And if you don't want to be an entrepreneur, and you love working, and you love being in a work environment, and you love your job, then keep doing that. Because there's a lot of benefits to going to school, getting a degree, and actually working a job. You can have your weeknights every evening, you can spend it with friends and family. You have your weekends off, you can check your mind off and just relax for the weekend. I've had great corporate jobs where I'll go in, I'm getting my oil change done in the parking lot, I'm getting a free breakfast, free lunch, free dinner, I can get whatever I wanted, all these nice perks, discounted tickets to events around. It's a great life, health insurance, as an entrepreneur, you are sacrificing so much. So for the few of you that are crazy enough to give all that up, to go out on your own and risk it all, that's what entrepreneurship's about. And that's why there's only 1% of the population that have most of the wealth. Because they took that risk. They gave up that comfort knowing that they might fail and fall on their face but they still did it because they loved it more, because they love the thrill of working for themselves. There's something great about having the freedom to do what you want, to wake up when you want. Now, you are definitely gonna have to work way harder, but I think it is 10 times worth it. Honestly, I would rather make less money as an entrepreneur than the highest level corporate slave, because I know as an entrepreneur on my own, I dictate my life. I report to myself. I wake up when I want to. Oh,